Alright, what's going on guys? Strive back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my first review for AMC's companion series to the original Walking Dead. This will be Season 1, Episode 1, the series premiere, which is called Pilot for Fear the Walking Dead. Okay, so first reaction to seeing the new series. Uh, you know, I liked it. I thought it was it was good for the most part. Uh, if I had to score it, I'll give you the score right off the bat. I put this one at like an eight and a half out of ten. Uh, comparing it to the original, you know, Days Gone By, Walking Dead original series premiere. I like that premiere better, but you know, it's got a classic feel to it now. It's of course we have you know learned to care for Rick and the other survivors in the regular Walking Dead as the seasons have gone by. And, you know, that, that's kind of like a classic point for us at this time when it, when it first premiered to look back at that episode. And it does have a lot of zombies in it. This one, this episode, is um, quite a bit different from that, of course. And we kind of knew it would be. Uh, it was mainly what I expected it to be, but it was a little bit slower than I expected it, to be honest. I thought it would be a little bit more uh, action, a little bit more craziness happening with the zombie apocalypse as the outbreak was uh, occurring. But this one is not really like the start of the zombie apocalypse. This episode episode is kind of like the day before, you know, rather than it being an apocalypse, it's more just like some random zombies here and there. At this point in time in the series, in the first episode, spoiler warning by the way, if anyone hasn't seen it and doesn't want me to ruin it for them, this is like just before the zombies have overtaken people and we're getting to see how that happens and, and why that happens in the Walking Dead universe. Those characters having no knowledge of how to deal with zombies and what, what zombies are and, and how to kill them and that. I mean, we've already seen them watching it on some devices and seeing that once they shoot the zombies in the head, they're done. But everything else, shooting them through the body multiple times, running them over, hitting them with cars, it doesn't, uh, doesn't really have much of an effect. Well, it does. It's, it slows them down, that's for sure. It hurts them. But, uh, you know, they still keep keep coming. So, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to get to see that kind of part of the series. And, you know, just, just because it's, it's a little bit slower, I mean, you know, doesn't mean that the whole season is going to be like that. As we saw from the, the promo or the preview, it looks like we're going to be seeing a lot more zombie action as the outbreak full on occurs. And this one gives us kind of a snapshot of each character and sort of what their life is like prior to the zombie apocalypse as it's happening. This is a unique time in the show because this is the only time when we're actually going to get to see, unless they do flashbacks, uh, which is what the regular Walking Dead did. They did some flashbacks to uh, parts before, important parts before the zombie apocalypse. With this one, um, you know, we're getting to see kind of like what their lives are like, a snapshot of that, a quick little, uh, you know, episode or a quick little part of the episode because this was an extended one where we actually got to see, you know, what their jobs were like we got to see Travis and we got to see Madison the kids uh, in that you know the uh, their two and then or her two and then and then his Christopher um, so we, we got to see what their lives are kind of like and they're they're sort of uh, broken or not really broken but their family unit which is you know you mix you have the stepdad and you have you know the uh, uh, regular mom so it, it was cool to see you know them kind of going to school them kind of just doing the regular thing doing the regular jobs as the zombie apocalypse starts to unfold you start to see it kind of break out and you have kids that are not going to school there's like five kids in the bus at one point and they uh, to a point where they decide you know what there's so much crazy shit going on we should just cancel school for the next half of the day and everybody everybody go home because there's some serious serious shits going down <laughs> school's out for zombies um so, you know, I did like it, and I, it, it's, it does what it's supposed to do as a premiere. It's, it's a character episode. It's a character-driven episode. It's a character-driven series, like the original Walking Dead, so much the same kind of formula that made the original Walking Dead what it is today, which is to focus on the characters in a zombie apocalypse. So rather than kind of maybe something like um, the Night of the Living Dead movies or, you know, or the I should say just the Dead series from or the originals from Romero, where a lot of times he would focus on the zombies and movie to movie, you'd always have different characters. The Walking Dead, of course, as well as Fear of the Walking Dead now, focuses on the characters over the long term and how they're going to change, how they're going to evolve. And the zombies, of course, are there. But, uh, you know, in the pilot episode, in this one, very few. Like, if you look at it in terms of how many zombies 
did the characters, uh, you know, actually uh, interact with on, in a close distance? There was only two for the premiere, which is 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 not very much considering, <laughs> you know, considering that this is you know a premiere episode. It's kind of supposed to get us, you know, get us kind of grip for the show and and have people come in and watch. So I do think maybe they could have added in some more zombies. There are some more scenes, but I'm sure we're going to see that in you know the further episodes. It's just the first one of six, so there's lots of opportunity for them to do you know to do lots of stuff with zombies in the outbreak coming up pretty soon. And I'm sure we're going we're going to see that. That said, even though there was only two, I think they did handle them really well. Uh, um, the zombie at the beginning, Gloria. I believe it's Gloria. <laughs> and she's uh, she's got like a pole in her. We, we kind of saw that first three minutes clip already before it was released online by MC. But it was still cool to get to see it all the way through and uh, to hear the score in that. I like the score of Fear of the Walking Dead. It's, it's very simple. It's very uh, horror movie-esque. Uh, it doesn't feel much like the original. You've got a lot of like a brr, brr, uh, heavy metal type tones and, and, and gritty and, and grungy type music, which fits it well, of course and keeps it different from the original Walking Dead which has its own unique sort of uh, style of course being filmed uh, where it is in, in Georgia, Atlanta and, and all the uh, King County and all the different locations we, uh, we've we had in the, the show where they both filmed in real life and then where the characters are at. So um, in terms of the characters thus far, I would say that I my favorite right now is probably Travis. I do like Madison as well. I, I like the both of them with Travis probably being my favorite. Uh, going into the show, I had the idea that he was going to be some kind of academic, you know, because he's a teacher, obviously, which he is. But he, he seems pretty tough, too. You know, when he's calling out, he's not timid or anything. He's he's pretty strong, and he's, you know, he's 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 yelling out, you know, to try to see if anyone's there. And he's, you know, he's the protector. He's, he's the, the father. He's the strong, strong male. So that's cool. Because uh, I was a little bit worried about that, that maybe he, he wouldn't survive. We'd see Madison kind of take over as sort of the lead. She'd be the Rick Grimes for this series, so to speak. Um, but at this time, it's way too early to say that. You know, we could see Travis, uh, you know, uh, become a really great character over the seasons if it goes on for a long time. Those of you who don't know, the second season is already confirmed by AMC. So, you know, we're going to get to see at least two seasons. And the second one's going to have more episodes. The first one's only six, which is a shame. But, you know, this one's extended, so it's not, it's not too bad. But if the pacing is a little slower, in six episodes, we may not actually get that far into the show. So hopefully it's just kind of trying to get us attached to the characters, tether to the characters first. And then as we go through the rest of the six episodes, we get to see some of the big you know, zombie outbreak uh, stuff. That said, that's not everything. Z Nation has all kinds of crazy zombie outbreaks and stuff going on. And, uh, well, you guys know. If you've seen it, you, <laughs> you know what it is. So, um... Uh, you know, Fear of the Walking Dead does what The Walking Dead does best, which is to make us care for the characters, get attached to the characters, and want to see what's going to happen to them, who's going to survive, who's not. Uh, I think I called it right off the bat. I did a video where I was showing some pictures with you guys, and uh, Alicia's boyfriend, Matt, uh, I like on the phone, <laughs> it's like, I'm like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, he's dead. He's so, he's dead. He's, there's no way he's going to survive. He's not going to make it. And it looks like he may already be dead. <laughs> Pretty much dead already. Maybe. We don't know. He's just not answering his cell phone. He's not texting back. And she says, you better be dead. I, I like that one. I, th I thought that was a nice little touch on the phone, the message. You better be dead. Be careful what you wish for. Uh, so that's cool. So I'll give my thoughts on the characters. That's a good way to do this. Like Travis a lot. I think he's a really cool, strong, smart. You know, that's that's very important, too, in a zombie apocalypse is to be in, be intelligent. Smart, protective uh, father. So I do like that. And... Um, you know, I do like Travis quite a bit right off the bat. Uh, first impressions. First impressions of Madison. I like her, too. I like when she kicks the cops out. <laughs> she's like, get out. You know, get the hell out. You know, it's just, uh, she's she's funny. But we, I kind of knew that already, of course, after seeing Gone Girl, knowing uh, knowing Kim Dickens and, and her, uh, what she does best. And, uh, you know, in this, again, very similar to that, uh, except in Gone Girl, she plays a detective. Um, but she's, she's great, man. And, uh, you know, just getting to see a really strong female really cool, um, you know, and, and to see them both in very respectable, very respectable people doing very important jobs in society. You know, you got guidance counselor, uh, teacher, and of course, students don't want to learn. You got the one guy sleeping in the class. Uh, but, you know, it was, it was cool to see kind of their regular uh, life before it all, you know, goes to shit. You got that Tobias guy who he called it, smart kid, brings a knife to school. <laughs> Gets caught for it, of course. So I like that. I, I thought he was cool. I'm interested to see, are we going to see this kid again, or is that it for him? I think I, I'm 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 kind of curious how they're going to work it in for him. You know, like if they're going to bring him, if, if unless 
he keeps going to school and Madison keeps going to school or something, I'm interested to see if they're going to bring him back into the mix somehow or if we're going to see him again because I'd like to. I think he's a smart kid. He's a cool kid. Maybe he reminds me most of uh, someone like Eugene from the regular uh, Walking Dead, probably useless in terms of uh, physicality, and we got that idea from her, which he kind of mentioned as he being picked on, this kind of thing, because that's her first response, her first reaction. And you get a lot of things like that where it's funny because we know what's about to happen, but the characters in the show don't. So they're just living life and kind of, uh, you know, making, uh, uh, deducing things and making uh, or coming to conclusions, uh, just how they normally would in, in regular life, even though they have no idea what's about to happen. Also liked uh, Nick, of course. He's fun because he's the one who actually gets to see what the hell's going on. And everybody else is kind of looking at him like he's crazy. He's wondering if he's crazy. Thinks he might be hallucinating. Thinks he might be seeing things. Of course, he did get smashed up by a car, but you know, maybe something he took, some some uh, lace with something, something in there, and him having some kind of uh, hallucinations or something, thinking he's going nuts. And Travis and Madison afterwards, uh, you know, verifying that uh, that he's not. Of course, like the ending. Spoiler warning here: when he runs over Calvin in the car and shoots him in that, I thought that was that was a pretty exciting scene at the end. It reminded me a lot of Breaking Bad. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's just because it's on AMC, and uh, you know, it's great to have this show. Speaking of which, because you know, it's been a while since we've had Breaking Bad on during this time during the summer, and it's cool that AMC has another great show um, that they can put on that we can see uh, that's interesting to watch and, and really good at around that time. Because I miss Breaking. Breaking Bad, of course. But that was cool how he had the gun. It reminded me of something like that. You know, you got drugs involved, you got that, and you got the question, is he going to try to kill him? What's he going to do? It seems like it. And that, of course, um, Nick fights back, which I thought was cool, and the gun ends up going off and, and, and uh, shooting him, killing him. But, of course, he comes back as a zombie because, you know, they're all infected with some kind of airborne contagion, so when they die, they all turn. So it's cool to see in this one, too, that that, happened, uh, that happens as well. Um, that may kind of surprise some viewers who maybe if they didn't watch the original and pay close attention to it because they haven't really touched on that since the death of Shane in Season 2. So that was good. I liked it when he's running them over and that and how they're kind of the close call where she's, like, trying to, you know, guidance counselor him. And then, uh, and then you see, uh, you know, uh, Travis steps in and, and uh, kind of slow mo there with the arm where he almost bit, and then pushes him off, and then Nick runs him over and then back at that, and then he's still getting up, and you see the face of that. So that was good. So. Um, Let's see, we also had uh, Alicia, so uh, don't have too much to say about the character so far. She's pretty straightforward, seems to be pretty uh, successful, and, you know, she's young still. But uh, getting into, you know, Berkeley and, uh, you know, got a boyfriend in that. Well, had a boyfriend, it seems. Maybe, we'll, we'll see. Maybe he's still out there somewhere. We'll see how that goes. Um, and, you know, excited to see what's going to happen with her. It seems like Nick is adjusting pretty well, even though he seems emotionally, you know, he's got withdrawals and stuff, and he's emotionally all disturbed and, and, and not sure what's going on. Uh, it's cool to see that he was able to just kind of really quickly, you know, uh, take the action and, and run over and kill him with the car. Um, so not too much else to say about uh, Alicia thus far. We're still getting to know her. We didn't get to see that much with her, just a few quick scenes. And it'll be interesting to see what uh, how she adjusts as uh, the zombie apocalypse starts to, uh, starts to unfold. Um, so I think that's most of, of what I want to say about this episode. It was, a, it was a decent enough premiere. Uh, it didn't blow me away. It wasn't fantastic. Uh, I can see if maybe there are some people that uh, we were pretty excited for. At least I was. You guys know, uh, you know I get hyped up for this stuff and was really excited to see the spinoff. So I'm not disappointed with it or anything like that. I was happy with it. Eight and a half out of ten. It's a good score. Not quite as good as the original premiere. But it was, it, was a decent, it was a decent premiere. It was a good premiere for the spinoff series. And I do feel like I'm starting to care for the characters already. So that's pretty quick to think after one episode, uh, you know, you're starting to care about the characters right off the bat. Uh, I've been watching Z Nation for a whole season and I still don't care about anybody really. <laughs> To be honest. So there's that. So uh, I think that's about as much detail as I'll go into for this review. I won't go scene by scene. You know, I'll just kind of give you my thoughts there on the characters and that. Because that's that seems to be the purpose of the episode to me is uh, to get us to tether to the characters right away. And now the fun part is to get to see who's going to survive through the zombie apocalypse outbreak. Uh, we've got a lot of kind of main characters there. You've got Christopher, who we just barely are getting to know and it sounds like next week we're going to get to know him of course i'll do the predictions later tonight for you guys so that video will probably be up tomorrow of what i think is going to happen in episode two so if you're interested in that check the channel tomorrow for that for the predictions video um of what I think is going to happen next. We'll take a look at the promos and that. But it sounds like next week, Travis is going to go and try to find his son, Christopher. And then maybe as that you know strong, protective father of this, uh, this sort of uh, combined family, he's going to try to get everybody out of, uh, 
out of LA, but we'll see how that goes. So yeah. So uh, I'll call it here for this one. If you guys liked uh, my uh, review and, uh, you know, thumb it up below, let me know in the comments, definitely, what you felt about the premiere, because I'm interested to see. Uh, I know everybody's got different tastes. Me, I'm an action guy. I love to see action. You guys know that. Um, but I still enjoyed it quite a bit because I do like characters like drama, and I love Breaking Bad. I love the drug kind of slant, too. At the end there, you got a little bit of a touch of that, I guess, uh, that same style with Nick. And, um, yeah, it didn't take long for me to start to uh, start to like the characters uh, with this show. Uh, and I like that it's taking itself realistic. I like the, I like the theme. I think it uh, feels fresh, feels new, but yet familiar because we've seen many horror movies and things like that that have a similar type of uh, theme to it. But different enough from the original Walking Dead that I enjoy it. So... Write your comments below. What did you think of the premiere? Were you satisfied, disappointed? Um, you know, where are you at right now? Keep in mind, we still got you know another five episodes to go, so it's just the first one. We're just getting started. But uh, yeah, that, those are my thoughts on it. Um, thumb up the video if you like. If you want help support the channel, you can share. You can favorite down below. And if you're new and you want to see more of my reviews, prediction videos, all kinds of stuff related to The Walking Dead or you know other 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 cool shows out there, you can go ahead and subscribe at the uh, bottom left. Be sure to subscribe. That's it for this one. See you guys for the predictions video tomorrow. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace.